What's a poppin' Pisces? You already know. I love you, baby. Go ahead and put some chocolate on in the algorithms. We about to get down on the boogie for January 25th. 2024 in this bitch. So, with that being said, we made it, baby. <laughs> Song of the day is Jenna Jackson, Velvet Rope. I don't know if it's something about beauty or some of you guys are crossing the finish line. Um, some of you guys might be doing some sort of catwalk, model walk. I don't know, bitch. Take it for what it is. But Velvet Rope, somebody is very special or you could be seeing how special that you truly are. I don't know where this song came from today, baby. Okay, I was going to do a funny how time flies when you're having fun. I was going to do that song, but for some reason, Janet Jackson Velvet Rope came out. Some of y'all might know that song, some of y'all might not, but I'm getting finish line or something like that. So, let's see what's going down. You already know I love your monkey ass spirit. You are welcome into this Piscean reading, baby. Let's get these mermaid and merman cards out. Give it to me for my Pisces. Velvet rope. All right. Love. Ooh, la la. Say we did. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Pisces, now listen, don't get mad at me. Get your ass a personal reading. I don't know if you in love or there is love in the air, the love that is around people that love you, you loving yourself. Okay, but love is here. Give me some more for my Pisces. What do they need to know about for the 25th of January? Gratitude. All right, so... Being thankful, saying a little prayer for you, thanking the heavens and the angels, being positive, okay, about what's to come. Some of you guys might be um, a humbled beauty. I don't know what the fuck, okay? But gratitude is being grateful, saying please and thank you, and it actually coming back to you. Then we have discernment. All right. And decisions at the bottom of the deck. Give me some more for my Pisces. What do they need to know about? Awareness. Okay. So it's truth in your power. I feel like some of you guys are going to see things that you didn't see before. Your eyes are opening up as well too with this awareness to whatever's unbeknownst to you. We also have patience. Patience, my child. All right. Give me one more for my Pisces. So sometimes not everything has to be rushed. It's respected when you take patience and time to grasp the understanding. You have acceptance here. All right. I said one more, but Nick was lying. Give it to me for my Pisces. You have inner knowing and turn away. Also, somebody might be trying to start a friendship with you. Okay, some of you guys might be waiting for new doors to open. It's saying to trust this process as well for some of you Pisces. But I'm getting that um, somebody needs to be loved or you should be loved. Let's see what to do, baby. Give it to me for my Pisces spirit. What do they need to know about for the 25th of January 2024? Okay, eight of swords coming out, flying out. You do have the nine of cups and also the five of wands in reverse. So... I feel like some of you guys are coming out of your shell. You also have the Nine of Cups, so this could be wish fulfillment, fulfilling your own cups for some of you Pisces. But I'm getting that there's going to be an opportunity to hold two different things um, 
Now, it could be a whole bunch of uh, negative ass bitches that you might just see with your own eyes. But I'm seeing with the Seven of Cups, you have new doors and new opportunities that are coming your way. But this is definitely wish fulfillment. Okay, genie in a motherfucking bottle. Asking for certain doors to open and allowing that opportunity to come through. Give me some more. This is that velvet robe. Okay, all right, okay. We got the Ace of Wands here. Also Five of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. Okay, bottom of the deck is the Tower Energy. So, and the Fool. Okay, this is, like I said, allowing new things to happen. Now, with this Ace of Wands, it could be that for some of you guys, it might be a new opportunity. Something is being led. I'm also getting a pencil or something like that or a petition for some of you Pisces. But there is an old door being closed, being shut. With the full energy, this is just having fun, new beginnings. Your inner knowing as well, too, coming into play and spontaneity. All right, but definitely a new opportunity happening you do have the queen of cups and also the three of wands and the ace of swords so breaking some sort of change this is why the other rope came so i'm getting a lot of communication happening between you and the world the universe your partner whoever this is okay this also could be like opening up some new look at that world energy velvet rope all right, so for some of you guys, you might be talking to a possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or getting some sort of conversation or something happening on the phone. But I feel with this world energy here, this is the end. This is fin, finito, finished, done. All your hard work is paying off that finish line, that velvet rope. All right, so definitely a lot of communication, wish fulfillment here. Some of you guys might be thinking about art as well putting something on canvas on paper i do see new opportunities and new doors uh being opened as you're shutting old doors here some of you guys um are finally seeing what the world is all about for yourself okay so you might have to be real selfish i do see the ten of pentacles here as well so this is family life pisces security now having that motherfucking money to get what you need to get to get you what you got to get okay i'm also saying chinese new year or something like that on this picture but having food on the table feeling secure as well this is definitely uh it's a reason why that song came to me with the world energy here so just be thankful and grateful that you have finished an old old cycle I love you, Pisces. Oh, so much, baby. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.